Hi there, cherished ones. Um, good afternoon. Um, just near the tail end of the lunch break and um, I thought I'd check in and say hello and give you a little update. Something really funny happened about 10 minutes ago, sitting in my room um, working on my computer on, on the leaflet for Cherish Healing and I look out towards the door and <laughs> I see a cow running up the stairs which randomly got onto the beach and randomly climbed up at least four sets of stairs to get into our, our section. Um, it was safely removed back. Um, but yeah, that's one thing about India. You know you're in India when you see wild cows. I've never seen a, a cow, it was a bull actually, um, leaping up a step as a flight of stairs, so it was quite funny. Um, so today we've had um, the bathe in the Gangas, the asana class, which is to do with own practice, and a really interesting um, uh, anatomy and physiology posture class. And I wanted to share with you some top tips for safe asana practice. So um, our teacher Craig is really super experienced and he's given us some information. So basically with standing asana, so standing poses, um, things to be aware of for, for healthy, healthy postures is keeping a sense of grounding and lengthening through the feet where you distribute the weight evenly. So really pushing down in the feet and a sense of lengthening from the feet themselves. Um, if people are hyper, have hyperextension, so it means their kind of joints just kind of really stretch quite madly, um, a micro bend in the knees are, are useful when doing stretches to stop the knees locking. Um, it's good to never completely lock the knees. It's not healthy. We really want to look after our knee health. Um, and another kind of general rule of thumb when you're doing a standing asana is to gently activate the abdomen, abdomen towards the spine. So you're lifting up, working with the mula bandha, uh, for those that understand that term. Um, and also the spine has four curves in it. So when they talk about having a lengthened spine, not to imagine like a pillar, but a sense of extension from the spine, really giving space for the curves at the back of your neck, the top of the, the actual spine itself, the midsection of the spine, down to the actual, um, the, the bottom of the spine. So you've got actually four gentle curves in the spine. So we want to keep nice and lengthened and not feel like we need to be um, strictly straight, but just keeping a sense of length. And so those are a few of the, the, the bits of information that were shared to us. That, like tiny bits like one percent the information that we've been um working with and sharing with i uh, hope that made sense um and i look forward to actually i've got an exam next week so i'm going to be doing some practice um and what else what else yeah we've not got long to go i think there's like eight days of class left or something like that so yeah, I've got to really focus the mind and absorb, absorb, absorb as much as I can, like a sponge. Um, but yeah, things are good, super hot. Um, yeah, I think that's all to report for now, now even. <laughs> Hope you're well, lots of love.